Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing how to stage a table for photos on Facebook or Instagram or for videos on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, um, or even for greeting cards for the upcoming holidays. So having a stage table behind you or around you or everyone sitting around it, there's tips and tricks on how to make it look magazine worthy and not just set for like a, a meal because that's not necessarily what you want for a photo so or a video. So stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and go gather what I need to give you a few ideas and we'll get started. Such a beautiful day. I thought I would go ahead and film outside. So whatever applies for you, maybe it's in your house. Maybe This could apply for not only a dining room table, but a side table, a fireplace mantle, a shelves above your headboard or anywhere this this will apply so take what i'm teaching you here and you can apply it to anywhere in your house even your countertops in your kitchen it, it doesn't matter where you're at if you're staging use these same principles and you'll have success so the first thing you're going to want to think about is colors and i've talked about this before i like to stick to two or three colors and really kind of stick with those because any more than that it can start looking a little bit messy so a little bits of it is okay but your if you stick to two or three main colors that you are going to repeat then you're gonna have more success because it's more pleasing to the eye, a little bit more restful and creates more of a cohesive feel. I'm gonna use a blanket scarf as my table cover. So you could use anything. You can use a bed sheet, you can use tablecloths, you can use runners, you can use multiple scarves. Uh, anything that you feel you like the color of and it's not too bunchy um, or too thick to place things on, then you can use it. So I'm gonna use a blanket scarf and I actually wear it a lot. I love the colors. This is fall to me. This is classic fall. And I'm gonna take colors from here and I'm gonna repeat those. So the colors that I really like is the blue and the orange. So any of the neutral colors, the brown or the tan, I can repeat those as many times as I want. If I want to pick up on some of the green, I could do that. Um, but my main colors that I'm gonna focus on is the blue and the orange. I'm going to lay it over the table, but I'm gonna leave it a little bit bunchy. By bunching it up a bit, it creates not only more texture, but it gives it a little bit more relaxed feel, especially being outdoors. So I'm gonna let one side really hang down. And my purpose for this is because just like building a floral arrangement or uh, a planter outside with multiple different plants in it, you're going to want a thriller, something high, a filler, something in the medium area and a spiller. So this is going to act as my spiller. So I need to find some high objects to create my thriller. So I have a couple of candle holders here and I actually got these at the Goodwill outlet. So always check at the Goodwill outlet or the Goodwill or stop at garage sales because you never know what you're gonna find. These are actually Ralph Lauren and I found them, I think they were 29 cents a pound and they're really, really light. So yeah, Ralph Lauren at the Goodwill outlet. So I'm gonna use these and I, my purpose is because I really like the blue. I want to emphasize the blue. So I have this uh, little bouquet of wheat and I don't actually remember where I got it. I wanna say it was like a garage sale, but it's gonna serve my purpose. It's high, it's very fall looking, and it will be perfect. So 
this is just an old watering can that I had up at the chicken coop. My hydrangeas that are starting to change and I just loosely put them in here. I wasn't trying to arrange anything great because I wanted to have a very natural, easy feel to it. There we go. So I actually, this is just some blueberry leaves from my blueberry plants and they're just starting to change color. So I've grabbed a few of those. Yeah, I've brought a few plates out and these are pumpkin plates. I got these from the Dollar Tree and a couple of stemware. Um, these are blue. So again, I'm repeating that blue color, just a, a, a nice little tiered tray. So I, I haven't decided where I want to put these yet. So I'm just going to bring a few more things out. So I've got some more plates here and these came from I believe I got these at, I want to say it was the Goodwill Outlet as well, but originally they're from Pier 1. An apple teapot, it's got that blue on it, and it's very quilted looking. Isn't that cute? And then a couple of faux pumpkins and just a little bit of faux fall leaves from the Dollar Tree. So. I've got most of what I want here. So, so I've got candles over here and I want to have something over here too. So I'm going to grab a lantern. I think that that is very fall looking. Linen napkins are going to look better than paper napkins. Um, if that's all you have, still use napkins because it's going to look finished. It's one of those small things that's going to make it look finished. So I've also grabbed a lantern for this type of table being outdoors and having dishes i need some type of food on the table um and that could be just a bowl of fruit maybe seasonal fruit um i, I have a lot of apples and pears right now um, but you could use anything um, it's fall but if it was christmas you know maybe christmas candies or christmas a plate of christmas cookies or something but uh Oh, I have some faux carameled apples and I did do a DIY on them. They were so easy and they're so cute. My wheat and my flowers are around the same height and I don't really like that. I actually want something a little bit higher so I can prop up one or the other or I could switch it out. You know, maybe I want to switch out the flowers or I think I'm actually going to just pop them up. So I'm going to go find something to prop up, maybe like a cake plate. Okay, so I found this little tiered tray. I think this was $3 at the dollar spot at Target. And I also grabbed a cake plate with my faux carameled apples. Don't those look realistic? I'll leave the link to the DIY for these. All right, I got a full table here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna start from the back because that's where I want height and I'm gonna work my way forward. So I actually want my table really full because I'm not gonna be sitting at it and eating. I, it's going to be just for show. So I want it to be full. So I'm gonna use my tear tray and really prop up my wheat. And I'm gonna stand back and look. I love it, but I want it more centered.
Sorry about that noise. We have somebody building a barn over here. So I'm gonna use a napkin because I do have a lot of weight. to prop up a couple of those plates. And as I go, I'm gonna find the best side of everything facing the camera. So I'm going to stage this napkin. The rest are just folded into squares. I'm gonna fold this one into a triangle and lay it here. Okay, can you see how it kind of needs something in this area here? I had gotten these cute little mums from Walmart for $1.98 each, and I love them. I love this rusty color. These are perfect. So you can see that I brought some pears out as well. And I actually still am not, not thrilled about this one. So I'm gonna switch this out with a different teapot because I love teapots. And the other one has blue in it as well. Okay, I think this teapot will look better. I am going to put the rooster teapot up here. Put the candied apples over here. So I'm just going to use this little candle holder. Put it back here set this mom top. Perfect. Oh my goodness, look at the light shining through. Okay, so I'm not liking this. So I'm going to remove this guy. I'm going to add my Lantern. And 
o pancan How's that looking? Actually, I don't like the teapot. I'm gonna move him. Move my pumpkin up here. I think that'll do it. So what I'm gonna do now is place my chairs. So this is just a shawl that I've got folded in half. It's mimicking those colors, the, the browns, the orange, the blue. and just a $5 Walmart pillow. So this one's a little bit more dull, a little bit more rusty colored of an orange. And I think that looks nice. So let's light our candles and see how it looks. There we have it. This is perfect for creating really nice photos for Instagram or video reels or stories for Instagram or here on YouTube or on TikTok. And it's just such a, a nice personal touch for photos, for greeting cards, and that's coming up. You know, this is fall, but if I was to do something for Christmas, I could have my husband and I sitting in the forefront and a nice stage background for greeting cards, for our photos for greeting cards, and it would be uh, very personal to us. So I hope you got some good ideas. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I do try to answer everyone. And as always, I hope you're having a great day. I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye for now.